Um, oh, sorry, folks. Very sorry. I was looking for something. Not watching where I was going. Really? What now? Aren't you Mario? Oh, I don't... That's not how he said what now. I just like to make everyone sound ghetto, apparently. What now? Um, I'm normally a letter perfect postman, but I've had a bit of trouble with my letters. When you know what I dropped it on? I'm wrong, and now I can find it! Okay, so we gotta find this dude who has no name yet. We have to find his letters. Letters to. What is the movie? Letters to Juliet or something? Oh. I don't know why I did that. Um, whoa. Ah! Okay. Hey. That's right, we got a first strike. Here's a Monty Mole. Monty Mole Boo! They're pretty fun ninjas to take care of. And yes, they are ninjas. Mm. And they throw rocks at you. You know those shirts that say, like, Boys are stupid, just throw rocks at them or whatever. I guess that's what Monty wears when he's in his hole. Hmm. No wonder he's still... single. I don't know what where I was going with that either. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, what up? Look at him. He's just like Diglett. He is like a blue Diglett, and the first time I saw him, I flipped out, and I'm not even kidding. It's like, oh my god, he's so cute! So what do we do? We talk to him. Wacko! I'm wacko. No, I'm not. He's not wacko or... What? Whatever. He's not one of the Animaniacs. He's wacko. Um... So we're gonna hit him on the head! Sweet! Whack ow! Don't hit me! And the Wacka's bump is probably my favorite item in the entire game, because it serves the best purpose, in my opinion. Um, of course, I love other items that we haven't gotten to yet, but this is one of my absolute favorites. Because it restores 25 HP and 25 FP, and you can always come back here and get it. I think after you hit him, like, I don't know the exact number, I'm sure some of you do. It might be 20 times, it might be less. Um, okay, good. I wanted to get the first strike, sorry. Um, it might be less. But after that, he dies, so it kind of sucks, but whatever. It's good while it lasts. And I don't mean to be showing off all these battles, but I was in the middle of gabbing, because you know I love to gab. I love to gab. Um, but as I find the letters, I probably will be editing this, so you don't have to see so much back and forth action. I'm sure I'll be cutting the recording. I don't know why I said that so quietly and weird. I have just said all kinds of stuff weird in this past recording session. I don't want this. I don't want a sleepy sheep. Why would you give me that? Alright, well. Let me go ahead and cut this action out so that, um... We can move on and find these letters, so we'll be back. Okay, here we go. It's time to find some pretty pimp letters for Paracary back there. And I'm gonna apologize in advance for how choppy this is, because I just, like, edited this ridiculously to make everything fit into one video, so some of the parts I'm gonna explain why I did something kind of weird. Um, so anyway, we have the first letter, using Cooper, and then going past that little area, um, we come into this lovely, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, Maroxide? Not a Maroxide. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, and we have these spiky dudes as new enemies. Those are their attack, and the only way you can kill them is to blow them up with a bomb. Well, I mean, that's like not the only way, but that's the only way we have at the moment. Um, and I cut that battle short because, well, it wasn't necessary to see the mole get killed again. Uh, nor was it necessary to waste time because I had to squeeze so much into this video. Um, 
Okay, so here we go on to another section with another letter. D I made that cut right there because I kept getting- I, I kept wandering around in the wrong direction and just like that, that little cut right there, same thing. I don't know what I was doing or where I was going, but I seriously wasted like 30 seconds of recording time in both instances. So, um, yes, I am very apologetic if this is very choppy for you all. Especially if you have not played the game. I mean, if you played the game, you're probably like, oh, whatever, I know what you're talking about anyway. But if not, it's like, what is she trying to do to my- my- I almost said my face. I'm not trying to do anything to your face. But what is she trying to do to my brain? I will have no idea how to play this game after this. Um, but anyway, long story short, that's how you get the second letter. Or long incident short is probably a better way to word that. Maybe not. I'm not really... I'm just totally messed up right now on confusion. So here we go up this rocky hillside again to go over here. And this is where our cutoff is because of this lovely hole, so fall down it. Find the annoying little rock dude. I really don't like those guys because you can only kill them with Bombette at the moment. Which, you know, my attempt to get a first strike didn't work right there. But now we have all three letters, so we are going to go back. And... Yes, I, d I decided to show this, to show you exactly where the heck I was going, because I chopped up so many other things. Which probably wasn't a good idea, but I'm kind of dumb sometimes. Oh, and here we have our lovely little battle. We get a level up, finally. Actually, it wasn't that long since our last one, but, you know, this battle's short. So I decided to show it. You know what, I probably should have reevaluated how choppy I made this, because when I made transitions, it made the video shorter. I don't know, this thing is like a jumbled mess, but honestly, this part of Chapter 2 is probably my least favorite part. It is the most tedious and boring. I don't know, there's probably a better word for it than boring, but that's how I decided to describe it. It's just not colorful. It's not interesting. It's just find the letters, defeat enemies, get lost, get found, and then come back to me with your info. So, the last letter you found it! Now I've got all the letters I've lost today. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there was something I could do to repay you for your help. Oh my god! Mario tilted his head. Actually, to be honest, I haven't. Just lost letters in Mount Rugged, he lost them all over the place. Hehe, <laughs> you know, just losing letters. He was drunk. In return, I would offer you whatever help I can get. I know you would. Um, so Paracarry is obviously joining our party. Our Mario party that we're making up. I love this artwork right here. This picture because Mario's nose is so oddly huge in it. I think that's my favorite part of that whole picture, is Mario's nose. He's like Pinocchio. He must have lied a whole bunch. Um, I have to be next to you. Tell me what though. So basically, what Paracarry is saying right there is that we are now responsible for returning letters and delivering letters to people. So, fun times with that. I'm sure you saw us pass this by earlier, too. Here we have the Quake Hammer Badge, which I was super speedy on passing up that title. Don't ask me why. And then over in this little area where that treasure chest is and about a million cutscenes that I made, um, is a star piece. Over here I did not mean to run into that dude, and I love how that mole down there Monty just thinks he can get us in the air. It doesn't quite work out, though. Here's another bull bulb. Huh? You talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. All right. All right. I haven't said that in a while. It's been a long time since I left Flower Fields. No one's spoken a word to me since. No 
one notices me. Aww. Bulbo was just like in those stupid preteen movies where the one girl is never noticed, but then she is the girlfriend of the hottest guy in the world by the end of the movie. It's really dumb. Oh. P.S. Star piece right there. I'm sure you all saw it. I'm sure I don't need to talk about it because if you've been watching, you might know where that area is. Here's another annoying person. Hey there, hold up a sec. Just a darn minute, he's also a hick. Um... And he's gonna fly over and be obnoxious for a moment. I really don't like this dude. He did give me some difficulty when I was younger. Yep, very similar. You look like the, that fella Mario. Bowser, you talking about? What's your name? Okay, you can say Mario and be honest. You can say Luigi and just pass without doing this battle. Or, you could always say Princess Peach and just look really ridiculous. But, so we're not a liar, I went ahead and said Mario. Mario, well I'll be. I reckon I gotta bust you up. Yeah, I went ahead and just said Mario because I figure a lot of people say the other two. Just because it's funny. Which it is funny, but I don't ever want to be associated with the name Princess Peach, so it's not really that funny to me. And I obviously want to do this battle. I don't want to pass because I set up Luigi. By the way, I believe you're seeing Paracarry's move for the first time, and Paracarry get shot. Yeah, I believe because I know you are seeing it for the first time. Basically, um... What I do with this battle is use a lot of FP, because I'm awesome at using FP. Um, Paracarry's Shell Shot works best. So does uh, Mario's uh, Power Jump, but whatever, we're out of FP by this point. Uh, that's why this battle is kind of annoying. It, it He has quite a bit of HP already. Um, Buzzard, is that what his name is? I don't know. I'm sure I'll see it again in a second. Um, that is Paracarry's second move, which is Sky Dive, basically like any other jump move. That right, that right there was coordination. Mario Party skill. Crap, I didn't look at his name. Well, I'm sure some of you looked at his name, or by this point in time you could pause it, since I am doing a terrible job of keeping up on these things. I don't understand how feathers could hurt. Oh, and this is the first time we're seeing this. This is Eldstar's move. This is what you can do in battle. Which I hadn't showed this off before because I didn't have a reason to and I didn't want to just do a random battle. But, um, without the cost of anything more than Star Spirit, um, or Star... Oh, whatever that thing is up there. I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but it gives you 4 H... 4? No. 5 HP and 5 FP. Um, but the little bar up at the top, the lovely bar with the star next to it, that is what determines whether you can use, you know, a star spirit move or not. Which you can also use in the move Focus, which I haven't shown. Uh, mainly because I didn't want to show that in this battle either, because it's not pointless, I just don't like using it, because it kind of wastes a turn, I don't know. I'm picky about weirdness, if you haven't noticed. Was this my coordinated fall? Yes, it was. I don't know how you can block a fall by ducking at the end of it, but I don't know a lot of things. So... I'm glad I just completely failed to ever say his name, too. But anyway, that would be him. Yeah, I won't. I don't know what that means. But thanks for sharing that information. Alright, so now we're headed down to a very much more exciting part of the game, in my opinion. The best part. Well, one of the best parts in this chapter. Um, we're on our way there, so we're done with this tedious very badly chopped up part. And this has been Madame Wario. I will see you again live.
for the what seems to be yellow brick road in front of us.